to your right, uh, my teller is going to be Kathleen Fitzgerald, and she is going to count the section in which she is seated and the tables up front here with the town officials. The center section will be counted by Debbie Bodell, and the section to my right will be counted by George Reitmeyer. I want to thank uh, my tellers for volunteering for such an arduous task, and uh, tonight might be more arduous than some. I also would like to send a message to our television viewing audience. I've heard some complaints of people saying that town meeting is being run by special interest groups, and I would like to compliment all the people who make up the special interest group that is here tonight for being here tonight. And uh, the people who are he not here, I would like to tell them that they should not complain because they can be here to cancel out one of the special interest votes and enough people who aren't here tonight were to show up, all you special interest people would be outnumbered. We are now ready to proceed with the warrant. And uh, Middlesex SS to either of the constables of the town of North Reading in the county of Middlesex greetings. In the name of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, you are hereby directed to notify and warn the inhabitants of the said town qualified to vote in town affairs to meet at the Dan Daniel H. Shea Auditorium, North Reading High School, Park Street in said North Reading on Monday, the 6th day of April 1992 at 8 o'clock in the evening, then and there, to act on the following articles. Is somebody going to save me from this? <laughs> this is the... Mr. Drinkwater, uh, mi Mr. <laughs> Forgive me, Mr. Doucette. You've heard the motion to dispense with the for further reading of the warrant. Yes, sir. Is there any discussion on the motion to dispense with the further reading of the warrant? Hearing none, all those in favor of dispensing with the reading of the warrant, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, unanimous. Okay, at this point in time, we usually have the chairman of the Board of Selectmen uh, presiding at the, uh, with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Unfortunately, the Board of Selectmen seem to be ensconced and not yet ready to participate. Uh, we are also, do we have a motion to admit people who are not registered voters to the meeting? Mrs. Belmonte. Mr. Moderator, I move to admit Roger Young, business manager, Robert Torres, North Reading Transcript, Freedom from the Floor for News Coverage, Everett J. Martyr, Town Council, Frank O'Donohue, School Superintendent, George Dow, Senior Finance Director, Some of these I can't read. Richard Porcelli, Heritage Cable, David Hanlon, DPW Director, Ross Billman, Library Director, Carrie Casey, 126 Central Street, North Reading. You've heard the motion to admit. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of admitting those on the motion, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, unanimous. Now I would request that uh, the people who have just been voted admitted, either sit with their boards if they are town employees, or if they are town employees, they may be seated in the front row center section, and the rest of them 
We'd like to have the three front rows and the section to my right, your left, reserved for people who are not registered voters. We would like now to call for a moment of silence for those town officials who have passed away in the past 12 months. And they are Richard P. Murphy and Fred Rex, Jr. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. under Article 1. Okay, we'll give the selectmen a moment to get organized. Mr. Kenny, would the chairman of the Board of Selectmen pl please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag?
Mr. Daly. Mr. Moderator, I move to authorize the Board of Selectmen to choose all necessary town officers not elected by ballot and de to determine what instructions shall be given. You've heard the motion. Now the chair has been advised that there's a group of citizens here who wishes to, for town meeting to establish a committee under this article. And uh, for the purpose of the form, I will at this point allow the representative of that group of citizens to make a motion to amend the motion that has been presented by the town administrator to substitute their own motion for it. But before we go any further, we'll take the Finance Committee's recommendation. Does the Finance Committee have a recommendation under Article 1? Mrs. Belmonte? Finance Committee recommends. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation? Mrs. Cerrone? Board of Selectmen recommend. Okay. Uh, is there a representative here of the citizens group that... Well. Yes. Mr. Harmeling, please state your name and address, sir. My name is Mark Harmeling, 108 Chestnut Street, and I represent a group of people who have um, requested that I present the following motion to town meeting. I move that this town meeting establish a committee of seven citizens and select the members of the committee to study and investigate the feasibility of acquisition and or utilization of lands within the town for use as open space, aquifer, floodplain and wetland protection, passive recreation, recreation sites, park lands, and other similar uses consistent with the enhancement <coughs> of the quality of life in North Reading. That the committee shall be called the Land Utilization Committee. That the committee further study the feasibility of the use of surplus monies from the operation of the Hillview facility as the source of funding for such uses and improvements or potential acquisitions for purposes mentioned above. That any vacancy occurring on the committee shall be filled by the remaining members of the committee. That the committee shall be authorized to appoint such non-voting associate members as it deems expedient and necessary. That all boards and committees and departments of the town are instructed to cooperate with and assist the committee in every reasonable manner. And that the committee shall make a report, including any proposed warrant articles to implement its recommendations, to be presented on or before the 1993 annual town meeting. I move the town meeting elect the following citizens to the Land Utilization Committee, established pursuant to Article 1 of the annual town meeting of April 1992. Uh, Nick O'Brien, Dennis Maraska, Mark Harmeling, Jim Brophy, Ruth Leiden, Mike O'Neill, and Ron Ramsey. Uh, that is the, that's the end of the formal motion. I just uh, should mention that the motion- Mr. Harmeling, would you please bring the, your motion to the chair? Yes, I'd like to mention one other thing, if I may, Mr. Moderator, and that's- Yeah, the that, that will come after you have uh, made the motion the property of the meeting, so okay. would you please bring it to the chair? to make a statement concerning your motion, Mr. Harmeling? I only wanted to say that, the, uh, that this motion was supported and uh, initiated uh, by over 100 people who've lent their signatures to, uh, to this effort. I'm not sure the exact number, but I think it's uh, well over 100 people, uh, many of whom are here tonight. Okay, the chair has been asked for a ruling as to whether the motion that is before us is properly brought within the four corners of the article. And uh, the chair before the meeting has been presented with two contrasting opinions. Uh, the opinion of town council is uh, that